ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் மரே நவுலிக் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் அவர் சைலர் பாஷா ஸோ டுடே அகெயின் சம்திங் டெக்னிக்கல் ஓன்லி ஸோ எவ்ரி டைம் வி ஓப்பன் எனி ஹைட்ராலிக் நட் வி யூஸ் ஹைட்ராலிக் ஜாக் டு ஓப்பன் இட் ஸோ இஃப் த ஜாக் இஸ் லீக்கிங் வாட் வி நீட் டு டூ வி ஹாவ் டு ஓவர் ஆல் த ஜாக் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் அபவுட் ஹவு டு ஓவர் ஆல் அ ஹைட்ராலிக் ஜாக் லெட்ஸ் கோ இன்சைட் த வீடியோ this is the hydraulic jack which we are going to overhaul it so first thing you open the hexagon set screw and the main thing that you need to be careful with the set screw is it got a steel ball behind it and you can see the seat on it this is the steel ball which i am talking about so keep both the screw and the ball safely you should not assemble without the ball then the jack will start leaking this ball acts as a non return valve so now what we need to do is next we need to remove the piston and uh, the cylinder so how we need to do that just blow air just blow air you can see the piston and cylinder getting opened yeah that's all now you just you can remove the cylinder by hand manually you can remove it that's all so this is the piston and this piston has a backup ring and the black color is the o ring so this uh, again on the cylinder also you can find a backup ring and a o ring so usually what happens is when this backup ring or o ring get damaged then the jack will start leaking so remove the o ring and uh, take out the backup ring backup ring is usually of teflon and uh, keep it separate and again open the backup ring and uh, uh, o ring for cylinder also you can see uh, this backup ring is got damage and that is the reason uh, the jack is being uh, leaked so you can see leakage because of this only you can see both o ring is also damaged and that is the reason when the jack is being pressurized the oil tends to leak out so now all we need to do is we have to clean the cylinder surface with clean rags ensure the o ring and backup ring groove is clean usually this uh, o rings and uh, cylinder uh, o ring and uh, backup ring area will be always clean only because we are using only hydraulic oil so there is very less chances of uh, getting dirty and blow air and all the vent holes you just ensure uh, air is coming out that's also once the air is coming out that means the uh, passage is free so all the hydraulic oil passage you need to just blow air ensure it is clean a uh, passage is clear of any kind of dirt so once that is done blow air clean with rags clean rags do the same thing for uh, both uh, piston and cylinder so we are done with cleaning and next thing is we need to fix the backup ring and uh, o ring so main thing that you need to notice you have to choose the right part ensure you are taking the right part for the right hydraulic jack because for generators usually you will be having two three types of uh, jacks so you have to just check with the part manual and then you have to ensure the backup ring and o ring is for the correct jack so just you have to cross check with the manual part number and check with the packet which we are opening if both are match for the particular hydraulic jack so now what i'm going to do is uh, i had removed for uh, both so these are the backup ring and uh, o ring so backup ring when you fix na the face should uh, face correctly not in this way it should be matching on both the way yeah it should be like this okay so it should be so first uh, you fix the backup ring and when you are fixing the backup ring ensure the tapper portion is top over each other it should not be like the teflon it should not be like this so ensure yeah so the tapper portion of both the end should go over each other it should not overlap 
so once this is done next i will fix the o-ring so cylinder part is done you can see here you can see backup ring on top on bottom is the o-ring so the same way we do for the piston so cylinder part is done we renewed both the backup ring and o-ring So next is uh, we need to do the renewal of backup ring and o-ring for piston again the same thing whenever you do the renewal please check the spare parts so as i said earlier the backup ring tapper portion should be on top of each other it should not get overlapped so first uh, i'm going to fix the backup ring and next is the o-ring so both are in place so so next thing is uh, apply a coat of uh, copper slip on uh, o-ring and backup ring area for uh, both uh, piston and cylinder so give you a, a mild coat of copper slip okay do the same for uh, cylinder o-ring and backup ring and next thing is we need to fix both in place that means we are going to assemble it so how we are going to do so it is very easy all you need to do is you just need to put the cylinder on top of the piston just press it mildly and once you pressed so now the piston and cylinder should be pressed in such a way it should have a equal pressure so all you need to do is uh, keep the hydraulic jack on the vice so keep the jack on the vice and you can start tightening the jack so that the equal pressure will be given and the cylinder will get fixed along with the piston so that's all we had uh, assembled the hydraulic jack next is we need to fit the steel ball and set screw so again steel ball first you have to fix the steel ball and next is you have to fix the set screw you have to tighten it so you can see the ball is seated in the groove and i'm going to tighten the set screw so that's all just tighten it uh, with the help of uh, spanner that's all we are done with the job so after watching this video you must have got uh, some clear cut idea about how to overhaul a hydraulic jack so basically hydraulic jack all will be same only maybe some design uh, factors will change but the overhauling procedure will be same like this only if you have any doubt uh, don't hesitate to ask me you can whatsapp me or uh, put in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching thank you guys